determine if figures are congruent and related by a sequence of transformations. All right, so we've been doing transformations now for a couple weeks. So this is kind of the culmination of all of the, the learning about transformations. So the three that we're gonna focus on in this one are um, whoop, translate, rotate, and reflect. Um, so we also have dilate for our fourth one, but in this case, they're not gonna have us be di doing dilation for this one. So we just need to, darn it. We just need to decide if it's one of those three things or which two or three, which one of those two or three transformations um, it, we need to do in order to get to that figure from A to B or however we're doing it. So first we need to decide, are they congruent? If they're not the same size and shape, we click no, and then we go down to the bottom and click none of these. Um, if we click yes, then we need to decide how do we get from A to B. So in this case, and if I scroll down here, it'll show you. Um, I'm gonna keep scrolling apparently. Oh no, it's doing it right here. Um, so if we scroll down, it's showing you that it's reflecting and then it's reflecting again. So this one kind of looks like a rotation to me actually, but it doesn't give me the option of rotating that far. So this, if I rotated once, that would be a 90 degree, and then I rotated again, that'd be 180 degree. Well, they only give me an option of rotating 90. So I guess it's not rotation. What they want us to do is flip it. So uh, reflection, we flip it, and then we would flip it again, but this time flip it up. So that's two reflections, and that works perfectly fine. So I can reflip, reflect the A over the Y axis, which would be this way. And then, let's see. There should be another reflection. Do, 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 do. Oh, they're doing two. Okay, so they are using rotation. So for whatever reason, I was thinking they were doing flexion twice. Um, so they're going to take figure A and they're going to rotate it. And then they're, and I can't do this with my hand here, but they're flipping it up like that so that it ends up like this. Okay. So they, they are congruent and we rotate it and then we flip it or reflect it so that it lands right on top. So we want to get it so that it lands right on top. It can't be near it. It can't be close. It needs to be right on top. So with this one we can rotate and then flip it. So we may just need to test it a little bit to see which ones are true and which ones are false. All right, so these do in fact look like the same size and shape. I have one to one, two to two, three to three, and I can test this slope as well. So I'm gonna click yes. And then I need to decide which one of these, and I can, I can choose all that apply. So more than one might work. So we need to test each one. So translate figure A to the right. So figure A, I'm gonna translate it so let's start here and I go one, two, three, four, five. So I'm moving that one over. So this corner is now, let me make sure, one, two, three, four, so three. So it's right here. So this corner is now right here where my cursor is. And then reflect it over the x-axis. So if I reflect it over the x-axis, one thing I do need to check is to make sure that it's gonna reflect correctly. So I'm gonna go from here and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So that would land right here. And then remember, it's three tall. So I go one, two, three. That's only one point away. And what I wanted to see was the point here. So the point is only one away from the x-axis. And if I reflect it over, it's only one away from the x-axis. That, in fact, works. If you're having trouble with this, go back to some of the other videos about translating, rotating, and reflecting to make sure you understand how those work together and what they do to different figures. Reflect figure A over the x-axis. So I'm gonna reflect it like this. So now this point is gonna be, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's actually gonna be right there where my cursor is. So I'm reflecting that over the x-axis. Oh, I'm lying to you. I need to reflect it this way over the x-axis. So this is gonna reflect up. So this point, since it's one away, is actually gonna land right there where my cursor is and then we would slant up like this, okay? And then it says translate 
five units to the right. So I go one, two, three, four, five. That works. Those do in fact land in the same place. Reflect figure A over the Y axis. So that's what I was doing the first time. So now it's backwards because um, now it's one, two, three, four. So that point, the, the point here is one, two, three, four. It's right here where my cursor is because I flipped it over this way. And then rotate it counterclockwise. So this way. 180 degrees. So I'm not going once, I'm going twice. So if it's here, once would be in this quadrant and twice would actually be over here. So that one doesn't work, it's too far. So now this says rotate figure A 180 degrees about the origin. So I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees. One thing that we did learn about rotation, cause I wanna test this really quick, is um, so if this is figure, the point here, which is negative four, negative one. When I rotate it, um, I'm going to change these X and Y stay in the same place, bleh, same place, but they become positive. Okay, so they don't land in the same place. And I can test that for all of them. Now that I have this point, I can actually say, okay, well, it should be, if I'm rotating around, it kind of means that I turned it upside down. So I should go, one, two, three, like this, and then I only go over one, two, and then I go over, I go down one. So this is where we should land, is something like that. So it's not in the correct place for this one. Um, and then let's see. Oh, and then reflect the result over the x-axis. So that's actually way too much. So then, because then it would come back down to the bottom. So um, we only want these two, and I'm going to click back on my cursor here and click check. All right, we're good to go. Next. Okay, so these are very obviously different sizes, and I'm hoping that you can see that right away. So as soon as they're a different size, you click no and none of the above, because nothing I can do for these three will change the size. Translate, rotate, reflect. I'm not going to change the size doing one of those three things. So if it's not exactly the same size, um, then you click no, it's not congruent, and none of these will work. So check. All right, next this is our last one here. All right, so with this one, these do look like the same size and shape. And I can again test that with all the side lengths. I have three, two, one. I have three, two, one. And then I can test this slope to make sure they are in fact the same slope. Um, simply by going, I have to go one, two, one, two. And in this case, I go one, two, one, two. So I can test that slope really easily. So these are the same size and shape, and we just need to test all of these. So I'm going to translate figure A up eight units. And I'm going to grab my pencil here because it's a little easier if I actually move it. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's eight. And that's this corner here, so I'd have this one, and then this, and then one, two, three, something like this. So here's the, it translated eight units up. And then reflect over the y-axis. So it's two units away here. I want it to be two units away here. So I'd have two, three, and only one, I believe, like that. Okay. So this does not land where we want it to land. So we don't want that first one. So let's look at the second one. Reflect figure A over the x-axis and then translate the result seven units right. So I'm gonna go up here and then translate right. Well, that's also not going to work. Um, so we, we can kind of figure out by, that doesn't land in the right spot, so I'm not even gonna try it. Figure, reflect figure A over the x-axis and then rotate that result clockwise 90 about the origin. So if I flip it, let's see, I have two, and then I wanna go two, one, and there we go. So here's my, that's me reflecting it over the x-axis. And then it says it wants me to turn it 90 degrees. All right, so if I turn it 90 degrees about the origin, the rule for rotation is, um, and here I'm gonna put X and Y, I don't know why I started writing H and K. So we have X and Y, so this is our original point, 
And the new point should be y x, but we also need to make sure that we're making the um, what was originally in the x position, flipping the sign. So if I test that out, so now I'm going to go here. I have negative 2, 2. So negative 2, 2. And I come over here. I want to flip them, but first, x needs to become positive. So I end up with 2, 2, like this. So this is 90 degrees. So all it's going to go over here is go 2, 2. So this is where my point would land for this one. So it would rotate and land right there. Well, that's not right, so we're not going to click on that one. Um, let's see. So that's the first three. So the last one says rotate figure A counterclockwise 180 degrees. So um, it doesn't matter for 180 degrees if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. The same thing happens to the point. So if I have negative 2, negative 2, like this, what happens to the point if, if I start with there's a very ugly x, y there, and it, it stays x, y, but both of them flip their signs like this. So if I have negative 2, negative 2, then they should both become 2, 2, like that. So I go 2, 2, and this is my point here. Um, and then the same thing, I can do this with all of them. So I go 3, 2, so this is, I go over 3 and I go down 2, so that's that, that point there. So I, I'm doing these two. And now I have 3 and 2. So I'm going to go 3, 2. So now I have this point here. Um, same thing with this one. I can go over 2, down 4, 2, down 4, and I can go 2, 4. So it should just switch the sign. So I go over 2, and I go up 4, like this. And then the last length, let's see, this one should be... Um, let's see, 5, negative 5, and negative 4, like that. So then we have 5, 4. So then we go 5, and we go up 4, right there. And there is my reflection, or rotation, 180 degrees. Um, and then it says translate that result down 6 units. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, look at that. If I take this point and I go down six units, I do land on the correct spot. So that is our option right there. I'm going to click check. And we're good to go. So we finished that one. Yay.